Do you want high-speed network-attached storage at a price that won't break the bank? We've got the QNAP TS409 Pro on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here again in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Now, a couple of episodes ago, we took a look at the QNAP TS-209. It was a network-attached storage box that had two hot-swappable SATA drives. It was a very capable, very competent little box, but the main feature was price. I mean, it just undersold what a lot of its competitors could do, and it added a couple of features that you wouldn't see in a lot of those other boxes, things like uh, native web and PHP and MySQL services. It was a a nice box, but one of the comments that we received most often was that two drives just wasn't going to cut it. I mean, two drives might work for something I was going to use just for documents, but if I'm going to start dealing with a lot of data on my storage devices, I'd need at least four. Well, TS-209... TS-409. Now, just like the name might imply, the TS-409 is QNAP's four-drive bay device. The QNAP TS-409 Pro is a four-bay hot-swappable storage enclosure that lets you use up to four SATA drives in a number of RAID configurations for up to a total of four terabytes of network-attached storage. The TS-409 Pro runs on a 500 megahertz Marvell CPU, 256 megabytes of DDR2 system memory, and 8 megabytes of flash for holding the operating system. Connectivity is served by a single gigabit Ethernet port, and three USB 2.0 connectors can be used to connect an external storage device or to use the TS-409 as a server for printer sharing. The 409 runs Linux and supports Windows, Linux, Unix, and Mac clients. Setting up the TS-409 Pro begins with the installation of your choice of SATA drives into the provided drive carriers. You can install as few as one drive, but of course the enclosure works better with four. One note of caution, you should check the QNAP compatibility page to make sure that the drives you want to use are supported by the enclosure. With the drives installed, you connect the power and ethernet cables at the back of the unit and push the power button at the front. The unit will power up the array and the TS-409 will automatically begin its check of the drives. The 409 quickly detected the four Seagate 250GB drives we installed and asked us how we wanted to configure the array. You can choose between RAID 0, 1, 5, and 6. RAID 0 will stripe the data, giving you the full amount of storage on your drives and a performance boost since data can be read off of all of the striped drives more quickly. However, if any of the drives fail, you lose everything. RAID 1 mirrors the drives, dividing your usable storage in half, but giving you the security of having two copies of your data. RAID 5 gives you 75% of your total storage, using the fourth drive as a parity drive to protect your data. RAID 6 gives you 50% of your total storage, using the third and fourth drive for distributed parity, allowing you to keep working even if a drive fails. You can also use JBOD or just a bunch of disks, which will give you four individual drives. This isn't as fast as striping, and it doesn't give you the redundancy of mirroring, but you get to keep the maximum storage without risking the loss of all your data with a single drive failure. The QNAP array is not only fast and efficient, but very fault tolerant. We purposely inserted faulty drives into the system, and each time the array properly detected the bad drive and allowed us to recover our data. The LED lights at the front of the array let you know if there's a problem with the drive, and the array will automatically recover once you hot-swap a replacement. QNAP's online RAID capacity expansion allows you to swap out individual drives in order to up the total storage without first having to copy the array data and then recover it once the new drives are installed. You can also use QNAP's online RAID level migration to switch between RAID levels as your drive count or your storage needs change. The TS-409 Pro includes the NetBack Replicator, which allows users to set up automated backups. 
it's quite useful in conjunction with the one-touch backup button on the front of the unit. You can configure the one-touch to automatically copy the contents of a USB device to a directory on the QNAP, or vice versa. Perhaps the coolest backup feature of the QNAP is remote replication. With it, you can schedule complete or incremental copies of an entire array to a similar QNAP device at a remote location. This is the ultimate in backup redundancy, an easy way to automatically store your important data off-site, in the cloud, in case of a physical disaster. As far as service features are concerned, they included everything that was in the TS-209, and then they added a few additional tools. The 409 supports FTP, Secure FTP, SIF, Samba, AFP, NFS, HTTP, Secure HTTP, NTP, and Ethernet Gigabit Jumbo Frame. It has integrated support for dynamic web serving, PHP code execution, and sports a native MySQL database for those who want to use the box to host their blog, photo album, or any other popular open source PHP MySQL based service. It can be integrated with Active Directory, or you can use the control panel to add up to 1,024 users and 25 shares. The TS-409 Pro can stream media to your handheld device or feed content to your network connected media players. There are literally dozens of applications that are just waiting for you to explore. Like the entire QNAP line, the TS-409 also has native support for BitTorrent. Of course, we know that our audience would never use BitTorrent to illegally download copyrighted material, but at least you'll be able to automatically torrent the latest edition of Dignation or Hack 5. However, the coolest addition to the TS-409 has to be the integrated support for surveillance camera feeds. The QNAP surveillance station software allows you to use the TS-409 to record the feeds from your IP-connected video cameras. Supporting cameras from Axis, Panasonic, Canon, Sony, Mobotics, D-Link, Linksys, and Sanyo, just to name a few, the TS-409 can be configured to be your turnkey video surveillance solution. The TS-409 Pro is available online now for about $600 without drives. We pushed the TS-409 harder than many of the other devices that we pushed on Gadget because as a NAS, you need to know that it's going to keep your data safe. So we, you know, through the failed drive test at it, we tried to corrupt the data. And we even did things like getting a second TS-409 and swapping the drives over to make sure that if the physical enclosure were to fail, we could still get our data back. And everything worked just like it should. Now, that's not to say that everything is perfect. One of the biggest complaints we have about the QNAP line in general is the fact that the memory is not upgradable. In fact, the chassis is sealed. If you even try to open the chassis, you're going to avoid the warranty. Now, 256 megabytes may be okay for, for what it's doing. If you're just going to use it as a file server, if you're just going to have maybe a couple of web pages running off of it, uh, uh, running PHP and maybe a SQL database in the background, that's fine. But as you start to add up those services and maybe throw in some plugins for streaming media, you're going to quickly run out of CPU and memory space. Well, you know, this is not upgradable, unlike many of its competitors, and that has to change in, in future revisions. The second thing, well, is something that has, uh, that bothered us about the TS-209, but we couldn't place it back then, and that is the complexity of the menus. We like the fact that QNAP gives you the options to change pretty much everything. I mean, they, they really give you everything in those menus, but the problem with that is if you're just trying to set it up, it can be a little bit daunting. The final thing is really cosmetic, and that is the, the whole look and feel of the device. Now, we know it's supposed to be a budget device. I mean, it comes in at half the price of many comparable devices from other manufacturers, but the whole kind of chintzy plastic and the, the, the thin sheet metal and the, the plain back and the non-integrated power supply just, you know, it, it could be changed and even if it ended up being a bit more expensive, it, it would make for a much nicer, more durable looking unit. Again, that's cosmetic and it doesn't affect the operation of the device, but, you know, we'd like to see maybe a, a future, more advanced, more expensive model incorporate some of those features. That being said, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. Just like the TS-209, it was always working, and the services were always available. It was incredibly easy to set up. It was easy to, to turn on the security the way that we wanted to. And, you know, they, they've just done a really good job in making this what it's supposed to be, your personal network-attached storage device. If you're looking for a lot of storage, if you're looking for redundant storage, if you want a way to keep all your UberGeek data and your memories safe, 
without having to worry about whether or not it'll be accessible in 5-10 years, might I suggest you take a look at the QNAP line of NASAs, especially their TS-409. You can find out more about them at www.qnap.com, or you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net and uh, find our review, our full write-up on the TS-409. That's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to write us, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. Thank you.